In this example, taken from our textbook, a battery has two identical cells connected in parallel. Each cell has an EMF of 1,5 volts and an internal resistance of 0.5 ohms. The battery is used to supply a load with a resistance of 2,2 ohms and we need to calculate the following questions. So as you can see by the diagram, it's important to note that uh, the cells are connected in parallel. So you'll notice that these cells over here are connected in parallel. Each cell has an EMF and an internal resistance. Each cell has an EMF and an internal resistance. And the two cells together makes up our battery. And it's connected to an external load resistor of 2,2 ohms. Okay, so the first question says we need to calculate the total current flow through the circuit. So let me just remind you of that formula again for total current for cells and batteries. I total is equal to the EMF total over large R for external resistance plus small r for internal resistance. Okay, so before we can calculate the total current in the circuit, we must first determine the EMF total. Now, this is easy because these cells are in parallel, EMF stays the same in parallel. So the EMF total will be the same as the EMF of one of the cells. And the EMF for one of the cells is 1,5 volts. So therefore, our EMF total is 1,5 volts because it stays the same in parallel. Now, for the internal resistance, um, a quick short method to calculate the internal resistance for cells in parallel. We take the value of one cell, and in this instance, the value of the internal resistance for one cell is 0.5 ohms, and we divide by the number of cells. And the answer you get there is 0.25 ohms. Now, the external resistance, you can see that there's only one resistor, that's 2.2 .2 ohms. So we can go ahead and substitute now. So the total EMF is 1,5 volts, the external resistance of 2,2 ohms, and we add the internal resistor of 0,25 ohms, and therefore the total current for this circuit will be 0,612 amps. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. Uh, in part B, we need to calculate the potential difference of the battery. Once again, important to note, potential difference is measured in a closed circuit. Okay, so if you want to take your uh, voltmeter, you're measuring the potential difference across the battery with a closed circuit. So in other words, we are factoring in the external resistor. So therefore, to uh, calculate the potential difference, we can call it V total. It will be equal to I total multiplied by the external resistor of RT. So I total is 0.612. And the value of the external resistor is 2,2 uh, ohms. And therefore, the volt drop or the potential difference across the battery will be 1,346 volts. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. Uh, we need to calculate the volt drop across the load. Same thing over here. Uh, essentially, we're calculating the potential difference across the load resistor. Let me just highlight that. So we're calculating our potential difference across the load resistor using our voltmeter. So once again, it is a closed circuit. Uh, because it's a closed circuit, to calculate that volt drop, we can call it V1 because we're measuring it across the resistor. And what you'll notice is that the potential difference will be exactly the same as it is across the battery. So we can say I1 times R1. I1 is essentially the total current of 0.612. And the value of the resistor is 2,2 ohms. Because it's one resistor, it makes it much easier. So the volt drop across the load resistor is also 1,3 for six volts. Okay, thanks guys for watching this video.